Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is Central Tendency, Mean and Median on Tableau. Well, where is the mode? First of all, the mode is not used in, not used, but not well used in business, uh, especially on continuous variable that completely doesn't make sense. And also, mode is so hard to do on Tableau. You need three calculated fields. It would take a 30 minutes video, and no one else is doing it anymore. So, if you do want to find the mode, go on Excel. Much, much easier there. By the way, we have this video on Excel. The link is in our video description. So, in addition to describe the shape of a distribution, we want to describe the data set central tendency. Population mean is average of the population measurements. Mean, the average or expected value. Median, the value of the middle point of the order measurements. If I have nine values, five is my median because four below five, four after five. If I have 10, that is, uh, there is no middle. So it would be the average between the fourth and the sixth. So that is the, uh, how do we find median and mode, the most frequent value for discrete variables, for continuous variables that doesn't make sense. And then the mean, uh, it's the value to expect on average and in the long run. And then uh, the sum of our numbers divided by the observations and the media is the 50%. So how do, and then the mode is the number that we find the most. So that is why it doesn't make sense on continuous variable because there is no number that we find the most. Uh, but for instance, if we are talking about students and grades, then mode can be a kind of useful. But how do we do that? Let's go on Excel here. So here we have two companies, Coca-Cola and PepsiCo, and we have the net income and cash flow. Here, what is good on Tableau, you don't need to show any order, any columns, just one column with all of your data. Tableau will do everything. We don't need to order. Uh, from the lowest to the highest. We don't need to create one column for each company. We can add filters or not, but filtering data on Tableau is much, much easier than on Excel. So this is our numbers and we do need an Excel file or any database file because Tableau is not a database. So let me find my Tableau here and let's do it. And you will see how easy and cool it is. So, okay, our Tableau, I'll load this when I quit, no problem. Excel. Our central mean and median on Tableau. And here we are. We have only one sheet, so we don't need to select them. Company net income and cash flow. So, okay, let's do it by company. So, company here on column. And then, first, let's work here with cash flow. That is cash flow from operating activities, but the name was too large. The default is sum. How do we find the average? Click here, measure, average. Oh, easy, huh? And now we have the average. We can also label it if we want. And then cash flow again, but not the sum. We go on media. Whoa, how do we do that now? How do we change this format? Or we can come here and then let's 
Vou ver se eu sou Coca-Cola e PepsiCo. If we don't want to combine these two here, yeah, okay, this is the average, so the average is a little bit higher on PepsiCo, but the median also uh, higher. And then, okay, we want to label it. So cash flow, label, this is the median. So we don't label with the sum, we label with the median. And then on cash flow, cash flow here, let's label and let's label with the average. And here, okay, I want to combine mean, uh, me, uh, median and average. Just come here. You will combine it. And then, okay. We have average cash flow. We cannot read the average cash flow. Cool, huh? However, how do, and then we can also edit our filter here based on company. We have both. Apply. Okay. So average cash flow and we can, company will be up. Show filter. It is here. And then, okay, I don't want all of our companies. I want only PepsiCo. So we have only PepsiCo here. Or I want both. How do we do the same chart for income? That is easy. Let's duplicate. And then instead of cash flow, net income. And then, okay, it's not average cash flow. Yeah. Okay. Let's delete it. Let's create another one. So, company. Here, now net income and the second net income. Remember, now the first one is the average. The second one is the median. And then net income, we have the label here. This is the median. Net income, average, we label it as the Average. And how do we combine them in only one? Come here and we have them here. Okay, let's do one more. Yes, and let's name here net income. And then, okay, we need to filter it as well. Company, apply. Okay, show filter. Remember now, if we want to see only PepsiCo here, but on cash flow, we have all of them. How do we combine both filters? Come on, cash flow, company, apply to worksheets, all using. Uh, Related data source, so here only PepsiCo, only PepsiCo, or if you don't want to know if related, all using this data source or related data source, go and select worksheets and then you can edit manually. So, and then if I change in any of both, it will change for both. However, now I want to create a separate one company cash flow that is not the sum that is the average i want to create a sheet here and then let's come back here and let's add the cash flow here as the median and then net income as average net income as median. We can combine it in only one, but it will not be pretty. 
average, uh, average, average, medium, medium, so it will not be pretty. So control Z, come back and go on this first one here. So it will show us the, oh, come on, yes. Okay, average, average, and then it will give us the number. We can name it as the tables. What is good on Tableau is the dashboards. So let's create here new dashboards. So let's rename it uh, net income and media. No title here, dashboard show oops show title and then okay let's start with our tables oh and then on tables i can also go on filtering so we have the future here so that is that is good we can show it if we want to and then net income On this side, cash flow on this side, and then table, it goes over here. And here we have the uh, cash flow, or we have the uh, standard, and then we can go on them here and on them. Okay, it will not work. Or we can move these tables. Let's delete them. Go on tables. Here on quite a, whoops. And here, if we just wanna Okay, let's just, let's delete this table here because we don't need it. So go on tables, worksheet, show titles. And then let's worksheet, don't show title. And we can go here and it will be much much better so coca-cola coca-cola pepsico average median average median average median and if we change only here you don't want coca-cola it will delete pepsi from everywhere and then you can come here and we will have the we will have both and then the measure names here We can delete it or not, so that is completely up to to us to delete here the average and median and median because it is already net income. So we can come here and delete it. Much better. Cash flow, average and median, net income, average and median, and we are good. We wanna put them on the same colors. Let's come here on cash flows. Come here and colors, edit colors. It is these two, so this first two here. We can come here, color, edit color also. So this one is this, this one is that. Apply. We can come here with the same colors for average and media. For instance, completely up to you. To have a normal distribution, usually average and, and media should be similar. For the net income, okay. Cash flow for Coca-Cola, oh, not that okay, but for Pepsi, it is very far. So the media is much larger than the average. So we have some problems if we want to consider these norm, no, numbers as a normal distribution. Okay, guys, that's it. 
Thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at uh, gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.